Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces for their highest and greatest good. Ooh, out you come with the high priestess. All right, we've got the nine of pentacles. All right, Venus and Virgo energy. Nice. And we've got the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy. Hmm, some pretty powerful cards so far. What you're not seeing is the Eight of Wands. Some of you, this person, very independent. They might travel a lot is what I'm getting. That could be you as well with the full card, Aries energy, and the King of Cups. Ooh, Pisces, this feels really good. It feels like it's a new person. They're in a really healthy energy. Feels like this is wish fulfillment. They could be a secret admirer or maybe you're crushing on them. They see you as very different than them or their usual type. They are going to take a leap of faith towards you. You're going to get a love offer or they're going to accept one that you're about to offer them. The high priestess tells me someone here could be psychic or intuitive. Maybe read cards or runes or something like that. Maybe both of you are. I'm sorry, I just laughed that another high priestess came through. You both could have cancer or Pisces placements. Strong water energy. This is a very seriously intuitive and very creative connection. This is, I think you both have, I think you're both crushing on each other. It's like you're both admiring each other, but I get a shyness, an energy of being shy around one another. And ooh, Mercury retrograde energy. So it's probably unfolding in the next couple of weeks, Pisces. The magician energy in reverse, though, does indicate that someone's not ready to take action or communicate. And I kind of feel like it's both of you. I feel like you two are crushing on each other. You're both secret admirers of one another, right? Nine of Pentacles. Something's got to give. It's like, I want, you know, we want to see you get together here. Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo. So your person is independent. They're single. They're in a healthy energy. This is your soulmate. They're really in their head about you. This person crushing on you, Pisces. This person adores you. They're stuck though. They're stuck in overthinking. They could have Virgo or Gemini placements. And that can, like when it's imbalanced, it can really lend itself to, um, you know, nervousness and anxiety. All right, they're viewing you as the Hierophant in reverse. Oh, this person. This person loves you, Pisces. They see you as this beautiful sun energy, this shining light. You light that you light up the room, Pisces, and, and, and this person's eyes light up when they see you. That's what I'm getting. They're worried, though, that you're too different. Maybe, you, like I said, you have different backgrounds, um, but you make this person really happy. I don't think they care, but I, I feel like they're worried you might care. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. And and you you they might be worried that you're breadcrumbing them. Um, maybe, maybe you are. Maybe you don't even know how much this person really likes you. Maybe you get nervous around them. But they're a little bit worried that maybe you're dealing with somebody else or you're maybe, if they don't know that much about you, they might be worried that you're, um, you know, that you're married or that you're, you're seeing someone. You're not available. I just kind of feel like that's their deepest fears, though, coming to the surface that they're projecting on you. We see the Eight of Wands, so this is what we're not seeing. And we have the Hierophant energy. This is moving towards marriage or commitment. Oh, this is their wish fulfillment. They, they, I think this person's also nervous that for some reason your friends or family won't accept them. It is possible your person, you know, has it like a bit of a dark past. Maybe they were incarcerated or something or they, I don't know, maybe they're just very different. Maybe different religions or traditions or beliefs. And so the, there is this worry that your family and friends won't accept them. I just think this person's anxieties are coming to the surface, their insecurities. But I think this is moving towards commitment and marriage. Look at how that fell out. Yeah, there's a potential for victory. Spirit saying, if you're ready to take a leap of faith here, Pisces, there's potential victory here. It's not going to be without its conflicts or difficulties. Um, and we get the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. If you want it, it's yours. Yeah, let go. This person's, you know, this could, this could be you. It could be them. Someone here needs to let go 
And when they do, everything's going to work out. Because I feel you two are mirroring each other. I feel you two adore each other. This person's just nervous that they're not right for you in some way. Or maybe they have something in their past there that they think you're going to reject them. Or maybe your friends and family won't like them. Yeah, they want marriage. They want commitment. And... Hmm, we see girl with the snake. Something here is restricting them. I'm not reading this as the way I typically read this card. I just feel something here is like holding them back. Something here is restricting them. And that's their fear. That's their fear that you're going to reject them or that there's something about them that's not going to be um, acceptable or okay with like your friends and family. Yeah, the golden mirror. Some of you interesting it's coming out in both energies this kind of narcissist energy i'm not getting that you are i'm not getting they are i'm wondering if there's somebody around you pisces just be aware friends options co-workers family members somebody around you is 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 making this person feel nervous is what i'm getting now it could be somebody like let's say you two work together and you have a mutual friend be careful what that mutual friend is saying yeah, because it, it just feels like there's somebody here that might be trying to control the narrative. Um, maybe even somebody even has said something to this person to the effect that, you know, that you wouldn't be interested in them or you wouldn't be a good match. Yeah, but this is absolutely something that can move to the next level. I mean, for some of you, maybe it is a rekindling, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is a new person. I think you're getting ready for a new phase. I think it's a totally new, different type of connection. And boom, there it is, mirroring energy. This person is mirroring you. You mirror each other. I think I think it's a perfect match. It feels like it. I think you're both very intuitive, very creative. I do feel like it's a water-on-water -water, uh, relationship for a lot of you. But it doesn't have to be the case. You know, it doesn't mean that they're a Cancer or a Pisces or a Scorpio. Just say that you two match each other. You're at each other's level. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. All right, so spiritual connection, yeah. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Boom, there it is. Double high priestess, right? Oh, Pisces. I love this for you. Slow down. Pause and allow things to unfold. Yes, very nice. Okay, and physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much. Yes. So a lot of you, maybe like if you're around this person, you guys might have touched or touch. If somebody touches you, it usually means they like you. If they touch your hand, they touch your leg, they touch your shoulder. Just be aware of that. This person most likely has touched you. Honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. Yeah, somebody's got to take off their mask. There needs to be this opening up. I think it's going to happen. I really do. I think you're going to get wish fulfillment. I think there's going to be victory here, Pisces. And some of you work together. There it is, finances and careers. For others of you, you know, maybe some of you, this person has like a job or something that maybe your friends and family wouldn't agree with, right? And you can use your imagination, right, with what that might be. But I think you probably already know. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Beautiful Pisces. And yeah, spend your time getting to know each other. Your bond is going to deepen and we also get allow this to unfold naturally coming through again. So Pisces, this feels beautiful. It feels like it's already around you. If you don't know who I'm talking about, pick your head up, look around. It feels like it could be like a work thing, although it doesn't have to be, right? It could be anyone in your community, your neighbor, you know, someone at the dog park, at the grocery store, gas station, your favorite bar club restaurant, but they're around you. And for a lot of you, they, you, you two have touched in some way. All right, Pisces, let me know in the comment section down below how this might resonate with you. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, love and light Pisces, take care.